The process to becoming a family doctor starts when graduating medical students apply to the residency programs where they'll learn a specialty. But there's a problem. Over the last five years, we've seen a, a decline in the number of uh, learners that identify family medicine as their first choice. It's about 30% right now. Here's how the process works. The Canadian Resident Matching Service, or CARMS, uses an algorithm to correlate each student's list of preferred specialties and locations with the top choices of each residency program. Matches are made and futures are secured. It's a big deal because doctors can't get licensed without finishing a residency. But this year, after the first of two matchups, there was a surprising number of family medicine spots left open. 268. That's raised a lot of concern across the country. For example, Alberta, with 42 vacancies, has its highest unmatched spots in a decade. The feeling that it isn't as prestigious or as valued or, uh, or uh, pays as well. The burden on family physicians administratively and how, how challenging the work is with uh, a population that's getting older and more complex. Uh, so it does scare people away. Monty Hackett did match to a family medicine program this year, but he knows most young doctors would rather do something else. We need to make family, uh, family practice more attractive as an option for medical students. But every year there are also doctors who go unmatched. These are uh, the list of all the programs that I applied to. Dr. Saja Jaberi graduated from medical school in the United Arab Emirates in 2017. She moved to Canada and applied to get into family medicine along with other specialties. But when the match results came out, she was left out. The same thing happened in 2021, 2022, and again in the first match this year. Just like a dating service, the program she picks also have to pick her. I don't want to get my hopes up and get disappointed all over again. Jabiri has applied to all of the empty residency spots in the second match. She's also considering moving to the United States. I do wish to be able to practice and do what I love most. It's clear something has to change because Canada isn't training as many family doctors as it could be, even as millions of Canadians don't have access to one. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Winnipeg.